I had an interesting route, you know, the, the, the old trite beginning of, of speeches. A funny thing happened to me on the way to the rally. Uh, we thought it might be easier to cut through Lansdowne Park to get here. And they said, where's your invitation? And I said, well, I'm a member of Parliament. And I produced my member of Parliament ID, which was good for one guard. But the next one said, you won't get in the building without an invitation. And I thought, okay, that says it all about democracy in Canada. Yes. I'm able to get to the, I didn't want to tell them, don't worry, I'm just taking a shortcut to get to the protest. I somehow didn't think that would, that would ease my passage through. But I did manage to observe that far too many people are milling through far too many buildings looking at displays that have one thing in common. The pursuit of a military industrial complex expansion in Canada, which we must not tolerate. We are looking at, as these wonderful signs all along the fence tell us, we're looking at a fair, an exposition to expand the arms trade in Canada. We are looking at the dismantling of Canada's international reputation as a peacekeeper. Brick by brick, our reputation is being dismantled. And make no mistake about it, the whole F-35 fighter jet schmozzle of an overpriced boondoggle of a jet that meets none of Canada's needs as a peacekeeping nation and is really only an excuse to hope to get some crumbs that fall off the table from Lockheed Martin's larger contracts elsewhere in the world. The whole F-35 purchase has nothing to do with Canada's national interest in defense and everything to do with hardwiring a military industrial complex into Canada where we get more work from Lockheed Martin as more nations decide that they're better off spending their money on stealth-coated fighter jets than spending money on education and health care and other priorities. Shame. We are, as a party, the Green Party is forcefully strongly, historically, a wing of the peace movement. The Green Party was at the gates of Greenham Commons. The Green Party started in Germany to bring down the Berlin Wall. The Green Party fought the Cold War and the nuclear upgrades. The Green Party stands firmly for nuclear disarmament, for protection of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, which this government has been dismantling. We will stand with you whenever you gather we need to get the word to Canadians that much is happening behind closed doors, behind locked gates, in buildings like this, where Canada's reputation as a peacekeeper is up for grabs. And what we're, we're replacing it with is Canada's role as a minor player in the United States Pentagon-led military industrial complex. We will always stand, as we do for a Department of Peace, we will always stand with you, and as Greens and as your Member of Parliament, you now know, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously the Member of Parliament for Saanich Gulf Islands, but I want you to also know that I'm the Member of Parliament for the Peace Movement. Yay! And we will always stand with you. Yay! Canadians from coast to coast have always known that our world role was not as a warmonger. No. Our role in the world has been superb diplomacy and ability to say, why? when other world powers wanted to go to war. An ability, as Jean Chrétien did, to keep us out of Iraq. An ability to say, why? And yet, now Stephen Harper says he expects unanimous approval for a continuation of the war in Libya without an explanation. I can tell you right now, it won't be unanimous. So thank you for being here today. Thank you for standing with those who think about the bigger questions, who are prepared to seek economic growth that does not come at the expense of world peace, who will stand firmly on the side of those who fight for democracy, for global security, and the real security that only comes from nuclear disarmament, from the laying down of arms, and in the words of the song I grew up with, we will study war no more. Thank you.